Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss on entry and exit criteria in software testing. The main objective of this video to learn about why do we require entry and exit criteria and what all what is all about entry criteria, what is all about exit criteria, what is the advantages of entry criteria and exit criteria. And I am also going to talk about in which levels of testing will also be using this entry and exit criteria. So what are those examples which I am going to talk in this. Uh, before going further, if you have visited uh, first time to this testing Shala YouTube channel, please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox as and when we publish new videos. So let's move on to understand in detail about entry and exit criteria. So entry is nothing but the main interesting question here is when to start testing. That is the entry when we will be going to test the your application. The exit is nothing but when to stop the testing. So these are the two important things we should document and very well and also get it signed off from the all the stakeholders so that especially this will be done when you are putting a test plan for your project when you are putting a test plan or a test approach you will be defining entry and exit criteria for every level of testing let's talk about there are many levels of testing are there i'm going to discuss it further so first of all let's understand what is entry criteria and what is exit criteria the entry criteria is nothing but some of the pre prerequisite has to be maintained by the application before tester to accept the build for testing that is a prerequisite that is a prerequisites here are nothing but entry criteria some of the examples uh, for entry entry criteria is as below one is your test environment should be ready your test data should be ready your requirements are signed up and test creation means your test cases are completed and it got reviewed from the all the stakeholders you have received the signed up your development is completed if all these things are done then only your test executions will start if any of these entry criteria is not meeting then your execution entry for test execution is going to fail then you may not going to start test execution so that is all about entry criteria so entry criteria would be different for every level let's talk about uh, unit testing the code should be ready once the code is ready then unit testing integration testing the entry criteria is here your test environment should be ready for integration testing and uh, your test data should be there for integration then your uh, unit testing should be completed by this time as a testing team you cannot define your own exit exit and entry criteria it has to be aligned with the all the stakeholders and define in your test plan so that that would give an indication to the st stakeholders where do we uh, where do we in testing and what is the progress are we making in testing that is all about the entry criteria now let's move on to the exit criteria so exit criteria in a software is nothing but there are certain conditions which are required to be met to when to sign off the testing activity that is the definition of exit criteria of software testing so uh, I could able to give few examples. What are those criteria when you are going to say your testing is done? So on standard uh, criteria is all test cases, whatever you have been executed in that all the test cases should be able to execute. Let's say you have written 100 test cases, then all 100 test cases should be executed. That is the execution co coverage percentage and past percentage let's say you executed 100 test cases in that 95 per, 95 percent of the test cases should be passed that is the minimum quality criteria only five percent of the issues i can take it to the next release 
developer has to fix all the remaining 95 percent then another exit criteria is there is no open major or critical issues means p1 and p2 issues so whenever we are signing up from the quality we should ensure that there is no CYT1 and CYT2 issues should be there in the system then only you are going to sign up that is also one of the criteria i hope you understood the overall concept of entry and exit criteria if you liked this video please click on like button if you are visiting testing shala for the first time please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future related to software testing will be in your inbox as and when we publish new videos related to software testing that would help you to enhance your testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care